Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Wednesday in the sixth week in ordinary time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are His people, the flock His shepherds. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the years. Serve the Lord with gladness. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the years. Serve the Lord with gladness. Forty years I endured that generation, I said. They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. What God can compare with our God? I cry aloud to God, cry aloud to God that He may hear me. In the day of my distress, I sought the Lord. My hands were raised at night without ceasing. 
My soul refused to be consoled. I remembered my God and I groaned. I pondered and my spirit fainted. You withheld sleep from my eyes. I was troubled. I could not speak. I thought of the days long ago and remembered the years long past. At night I mused within my heart. I pondered and my spirit questioned. Will the Lord reject us forever? Will He show us His favor no more? Has His love vanished forever? Has His promise come to an end? Does God forget His mercy, or in anger withhold His compassion? I said, this is what causes my grief, that the way of the Most High has changed. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember your wonders of old. I muse on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O God, are holy. What God is great as our God? You are the God who works wonders. You showed your power among the peoples. Your strong arm redeem your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The water saw you, O God. The water saw you and trembled. The depths were moved with terror. The clouds poured down rain. The sky sent forth their voice. Your arrows flashed to and fro. Your thunder rolled round the sky. Your flashes lighted up the world. The earth was moved and trembled when your way led through the, through the sea. Your path through the mighty waters, and no one saw your footprints. You guided your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My heart lifts up with joy to the Lord, for He humbles only to exalt us. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. There is no Holy One like the Lord. There is no rock like our God. Speak boastfully no longer, nor let arrogance issue from your mouths. For an all-knowing God is the Lord, a God who judges deeds. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles. He also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust. From the ash heap He lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and He has set the world upon them. He will guard the footsteps of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall perish in the darkness. For not by strength does man prevail. The Lord's foes shall be shattered. The Most High in heaven thunders. The Lord judges the, year, the ends of the earth. Now may he give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are His raiment, His throne, justice, and right. A fire prepares His path. It burns up His foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim His justice. All people see His glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. All you spirits worship Him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light, Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the upright of heart. 
Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Give glory to His holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that you may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. At the end of 40 days, Noah opened the hatch he had made in the ark, and he sent out a raven to see if the waters had lessened on the earth. It flew back and forth until the waters dried off from the earth. Then he sent out a dove to see if the waters had lessened on the earth. But the dove could find no place to alight and perch, and it returned to him in the ark, for there was water all over the earth. Putting out his hand, he caught the dove and drew it back to him inside the ark. He waited seven days more and again sent the dove out from the ark. In the evening, the dove came back to him, and there in its bill was a plucked off olive leaf. So no one knew that the waters had lessened on the earth. He waited still another seven days, and then released the dove once more, and this time it did not come back. In the 601st year of Noah's life, in the first month, on the first day of the month, the water began to dry up on the earth. Noah then removed the covering of the ark and saw that the surface of the ground was drying up. Noah built an altar to the Lord, and choosing from every clean animal and every clean bird, he offered burnt offerings on the altar. When the Lord smelt the sweet odor, he said to himself, Never again will I doom the earth because of man, since the desires of man's heart are evil from the start. Nor will I ever again strike down all living beings as I have done. As long as the earth lasts, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good He has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. My vows to the Lord I will pay, in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of your hearts, that we may know what is hope that belongs to His call. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. 
When Jesus and his disciples arrived at Bethsaida, people brought to him a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. Putting spittle on his eyes, he laid his hands on the man and asked, Do you see anything? Looking up, the man replied, I see people looking like trees and walking. Then he laid his hands on the man's eyes a second time, and he saw clearly. His sight was restored, and he could see everything distinctly. Then he sent him home and said, Do not even go into the village. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Mga kapatid, naranasan niyo na ba yung minsan may nagkwento o sabihin natin nag-joke pero hindi niyo nakuha agad yung joke. Lahat nagtawanan except sa iyo, except ikaw. At papakwento mo ulit, ano ba yun? Nung naikwento na, doon ka palang tumawa, doon po lang nag-get o nag-gets, sabi ng expression, yung kwento. Sasabihin ng iba, ang slow naman, o di kaya delayed reaction. Kapag ka palagi, slow talaga. Pero kung paminsan-minsan, hindi mo lang nag-gets agad. Minsan kasi sa buhay, may mga bagay na kailangan ulitin sa first take, unang gawa, unang sabi, unang pagkarinig, hindi agad naiintindihan. Kailangan ulitin, may follow up, kailang sundan, kailang gawin uli. Kaya dito sa Ebanghelyo, magtataka tayo, bakit dalawang beses ginawa ni Jesus yung pagpagaling dun sa bulag? First take, hindi agad gumaling, hindi agad nakakita yung bulag. Second take lang. Pwede ba natin sabihin, ang hina naman ni Jesus, nasan yung power niya? Hindi ba pwedeng once lang? Take one lang? Ako, ayos na agad? Brothers and sisters, it's not about the power of Jesus. It is about our ability to comprehend, to accept, to get, to understand things in life. Maring sa unang pagkakataon, di natin gets agad. Itong ibanghelyo natin ay kadugtong ng ibanghelyo kahapon. At ang Panginoon ay nagtanong sa mga alagad kahapon, Do you still not understand or comprehend? Kaya nga nagsabi pa siya, Do you not remember? Mga kapatid, karugtong ito ng kwentong iyan, parang sinasabi ng Panginoon, Okay, uulitin ko sa isang milagro so that you will understand. Brothers and sisters, The gospel shows us the character of Jesus. He is a patient God. Pwede niyang ulit-ulitin. Minsan di tayo natututo. Dagukan man tayo, bagsakan man tayo, hindi ko alam kung mamatay man tayo, magkasakit man tayo. Kailang ulitin mangyari eh. Minsan matigas ang ulo natin, mabagalan tayo. Is slow lang. But Jesus is a patient God. And this something, my dear brothers and sisters, is what He would like us to have. That patience. Patience for ourselves and patience about others. Sa mga magulang dyan, yung mga anak natin, hindi lang dalawang beses ulitin, paulit-ulit pa sa ating panalangin, ganun din. Baka sinusubukan tayo ni Lord. Di tayo magdadasal only once or twice. Baka paulit-ulit pa. Let's be patient. Jesus is waiting 
for us. Also, patiently. Please stand. We ask God the Father to open our eyes so that we may follow Him wholeheartedly. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may grow in her effort to bring light to those who are experiencing darkness in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through our acts of kindness, the despised, the rejected, and unloved in our society may experience God's care in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have firm confidence in Jesus, who opens our eyes to the beauty of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the suffering may see and feel God's loving presence in those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prior provincial and for our brothers and ministry at Bahay Dominico and St. Mary Magdalene, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa and for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends may find perpetual and eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, fill us with your love and dispel the darkness from our lives so that we may work in the light of Christ, your Son. We ask this through Christ. Our Lord. Amen. Amen. Kindly be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that may sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation, the Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in the company of choirs, with the choir of, choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy, we proclaim. Santo, 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 
Panginoon Diyos ng mga hukbo, napupuno ang langit at lupa ng kadakilaan mo. O sana, o sana sa kaitaasan, sa kaitaasan. indeed holy o lord the font of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church prayer throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. 
are the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, only say, say the word, and my, my soul, soul shall be healed.
please stand. Let us serve the Lord in holiness all the days of our life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the Yotis word to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our way, in, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let, Let us serve, serve the Lord, Lord in holiness all the days of our life. We shall now pray the litany of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new, for all the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic. Let us say together, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God for reminding us of the fragility of life and opening our minds to what is really essential. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for allowing us to connect with one another despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help. And for the gift of the newly discovered vaccines. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and depressed during the pandemic. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Loving God. You entered a world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept a thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this, we thank and praise you. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw sa Basilika at sa inyong aktibong pakikisa sa banal na misa. Naway sa inyong pag-uwi, bitbit nyo ang mga panalangin ng Diyos Ama at ang mga biyaya ng panalangin ng mahal na ina. Ingat sa pag-uwi. Enjoy the rest of the day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious items